According to collegeboard.org, the average cost of tuition a year is about $9,000, which averages out to about $36,000 for all four years. And that's not including room and board. But money isn't the only cost of attending college. Time is costly as well, as much of it is spent not only in class, but studying and doing work outside of the classroom. You know, with work and stuff, I don't think I would have enough money to pay for school and help out my family enough, so that's why I just chose to start working. Some may say that the cost of tuition is just too high, but others will argue that the cost of not getting an education is even higher. College is getting increasingly expensive. Tuition at U.S. universities has risen faster than inflation in every year since 1981. The payoff from a college degree has been growing over time. In 1980, college graduates earned 50% more than high school graduates. In 2008, they earned over 90% more. In addition, a college degree increases your chances of finding a job, even in a sluggish economy. In the May 2012 employment report, the unemployment rate for high school graduates rose to 8.1%, while the unemployment rate for college graduates fell to 3.9%. So it should be no surprise then that young people today are pursuing higher education in larger numbers than ever before. But there's more to the story. It's kind of something that I, I don't understand. You know, costs are constantly rising. I mean, I guess it has to do with, you know, every, every price rises, every cost rises, but college costs rise so exponentially that I think that it just doesn't equate. It's really complicated. I just don't understand how we have to pay so much money to get an education, especially like in America. It's overwhelming. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my major yet, so it's kind of crazy thinking about paying off all that debt, but somehow it'll, it'll disappear. <laughs> This family friend has saved $90,000 for their kid to go to college. Uh, that kid is a high school senior about to be a college freshman. $90,000 is quite a bit of money. I think that's more than a lot of parents are able to put away for their kids. But regardless, this kid now has, or this young woman now has $90,000 to go to school and she has two options based off of where she applied. Now she can either go to a public in-state college which all four years combined will cost less than $90,000, which means she will have that leftover money to do whatever she wants with. She can put a down payment on a house, she can buy a car, she can go on vacation, she can really do whatever she wants. Or option two is she has been accepted to a very expensive private school in Texas that costs $50,000 a year. Now that means obviously that she doesn't even have enough in her college savings from her parents to pay for even two years of college. But despite that, she has decided to go to the option that will cost her $50,000 a year. She's going to private school, and I'm guessing she's going to be in a lot of debt. A college tuition since 1980 has gone up 600%. Here's a statistic that just blew my mind. 85% of college graduates go back and live with their parents. What was the number? 85%. Because, because they have a, they, they, you know, they basically have bought a house, but they don't have a house, because that's what a college loan is. It's almost like having a mortgage. So you start out life in debt, of course, you, and you can't afford an apartment. Uh, the average graduate student starts $24,000 in the hole. Um, this, I think, is what had started this whole, has started this, this whole movement, and I kind of understand why. I, it looks to me like college is sort of the next bubble. I, I don't know if, if, if that diploma that they're buying and, you know, Bill, just, you know, a case could to, be made that you're just buying yeah. a consumer product when you buy a diploma. I don't know if it's worth it anymore. In other industries, we found ways to produce things using fewer labor hours, using more technology. We haven't really figured out how to do that in education. And so... Result? College tuitions have risen at twice the pace of inflation. In fact, they've doubled in just 10 years. Faculty salaries have been pretty stagnant, but their compensation goes up when health care costs go up. Higher costs, growing enrollment, it all adds up to a mountain of debt. The nation's total student loan bill now tops outstanding debt on all of our credit cards. One trillion dollars and counting. 